What is a Type 2 Civilization? Implications of a Type 2 Civilization and how would our life change in Type 2 Civilization? All these answers you will get in this video. A Type 2 Civilization is a hypothetical civilization that is capable of harnessing the energy of an entire star. The concept was first introduced by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964 as a means of classifying civilizations based on their energy consumption. A Type II civilization is considered to be an advanced civilization that has surpassed the limits of its home planet and has expanded into the surrounding space, harnessing the energy of its star to meet its needs. In this essay, we will explore what it means to be a Type II civilization and what technological advancements are necessary to achieve such a feat. We will also examine the potential implications of such a civilization for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The Kardashev Scale before we can fully understand what Type II civilization is, it is important to understand the Kardashev scale. The Kardashev scale is a measure of a civilization's technological advancement based on its ability to harness and utilize energy. The scale was first introduced by Nikolai Kardashev in 1964 and has since become widely used in science fiction and in discussions of the future of human civilization. The Kardashev scale is divided into three categories. Type I Civilization a civilization that is capable of harnessing and utilizing all of the energy available on its home planet. This includes energy from sources such as fossil fuels, nuclear power, and renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. Type 2 Civilization A civilization that is capable of harnessing and utilizing all of the energy available from its star. This includes energy from sources such as solar power, fusion, and matter-antimatter reactions. Type 3 Civilization a civilization that is capable of harnessing and utilizing all of the energy available in its galaxy. This includes energy from sources such as black holes, quasars, and gamma-ray bursts. It is important to note that the Kardashev scale is based on a civilization's ability to harness energy, not its technological advancements in general. A civilization may be highly advanced in other areas, such as medicine, transportation, or communication, but still be classified as a type 1 civilization if it has not yet harnessed all of the energy available on its home planet. What is a Type II civilization? A Type II civilization is a hypothetical civilization that is capable of harnessing and utilizing all of the energy available from its star. This means that the civilization would be able to capture the energy produced by its star and convert it into usable forms of energy, such as electricity. One way that a Type II civilization could accomplish this is through the use of a Dyson Sphere. A Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that is constructed around a star with the purpose of capturing and harnessing its energy. The Dyson Sphere would be a massive shell that completely surrounds the star with a radius of at least one astronomical unit, AU, the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The Dyson Sphere would be composed of a network of solar panels and other energy harvesting technologies designed to capture the energy produced by the star. The captured energy would then be converted into usable forms of energy, such as electricity, and sent to the civilization's home planet or to other locations in space. The construction of a Dyson Sphere would require a vast amount of resources and technological advancements. It would require the ability to mine and process materials from asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies. It would also require the ability to construct and maintain structures on an enormous scale as well as the ability to harness and control immense amounts of energy. Other methods of harnessing the energy of a star include nuclear fusion and matter-anti-nuclear fusion and matter-antimatter reactions are other potential methods of harnessing the energy of a star. Nuclear fusion is the process of combining atomic nuclei to form heavier elements, releasing a large amount of energy in the process. Matter-antimatter reactions, on the other hand, involve the annihilation of particles and antiparticles, releasing energy in the form of gamma rays. Both of these processes require advanced technology and a deep understanding of the physics involved. Nuclear fusion, for example, is still an area of active research and development as current technology is not yet capable of sustaining a controlled fusion reaction for extended periods of time. A Type II civilization would also need to have advanced technologies for energy storage, distribution, and management. The amount of energy produced by a star is immense and managing that energy would be a complex and challenging task. The civilization would need to be able to store excess energy for later use, distribute it to where it is needed, 
and manage the energy flow to avoid overloading the system. Implications of a Type II Civilization The existence of a Type II Civilization would have significant implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. One of the most significant implications would be the realization that we are not alone in the universe. If a Type II Civilization exists, it would almost certainly have detected our existence and may even have made contact with us. The discovery of a Type II civilization would also provide insights into the potential for advanced technology and scientific advancement. The civilization would have likely made significant discoveries in the areas of physics, astronomy, and engineering, which could potentially lead to new technologies and advancements for humanity. Another potential implication of a Type II civilization is the impact it could have on the environment. The harnessing of the energy of a star would likely have a significant impact on the surrounding environment, and the construction of a Dyson Sphere or other megastructures could potentially cause ecological disruption. The civilization would need to take measures to mitigate any negative impacts on the environment. A Type II civilization is a hypothetical civilization that is capable of harnessing and utilizing all of the energy available from its star. The construction of a Dyson Sphere or other megastructures would be required to accomplish this, along with advanced technologies for energy storage, distribution, and management. The existence of a Type II civilization would have significant implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It would provide insights into the potential for advanced technology and scientific advancement, and may even lead to new technologies and advancements for humanity. However, it would also require responsible management to avoid negative impacts on the environment. Overall, the concept of a Type II civilization is a fascinating one that highlights the potential for human advancement and the possibilities that exist beyond our current understanding of the universe. How will our life change in Type II civilization? If humanity were to achieve a Type II civilization status, it would bring about significant changes to our way of life, both in terms of our understanding of the universe and our place within it, as well as our technological capabilities and societal structures. In this essay, we will explore how our lives might change in a Type II civilization, focusing on areas such as energy, transportation, communication, and governance. Energy. The most significant change that would come with achieving a Type II civilization status is the ability to harness and utilize all of the energy available from our star. This would provide an essentially limitless source of energy, which could power all of our technological advancements and provide a vast array of benefits to humanity. With access to this much energy, we could solve many of the energy-related problems that currently plague us, such as fossil fuel depletion, pollution, and climate change. The ability to harness all of the energy from our star would mean that we no longer need to rely on finite resources, and we could generate clean and sustainable energy indefinitely. Transportation Another area where we could see significant changes in a Type II civilization is in transportation. With access to this much energy, we could develop new transportation technologies that are currently not possible. One possibility is the development of interstellar travel, allowing us to explore and colonize other star systems. With enough energy, we could potentially travel faster than the speed of light, allowing us to travel vast distances in a relatively short amount of time. This would open up new opportunities for exploration and discovery, and could potentially lead to the colonization of other planets and star systems. On a more immediate level, we could also see significant advancements in terrestrial transportation. Electric cars, trains, and other forms of transportation could become the norm, as we would have an essentially limitless source of clean energy to power them. Communication Communication is another area where we could see significant changes in a Type II civilization. With access to this much energy, we could potentially develop new forms of communication that are currently not possible. One possibility is the development of instantaneous communication across vast distances. Currently, we are limited by the speed of light, which means that communication could take minutes or even hours to travel across interstellar distances. With access to a vast amount of energy, we could potentially develop technologies that allow for instantaneous communication, allowing us to communicate with other civilizations across the universe in real time. Another possibility is the development of advanced artificial intelligence and virtual reality technologies. With access to this much energy, we could potentially create virtual worlds that are indistinguishable from reality, allowing us to communicate and interact with others in ways that are currently not possible. Governance. Finally, achieving a Type II civilization status would also bring about significant changes to our governance structures. 
With access to this much energy, we could potentially create a post-scarcity society where all of our basic needs are met and everyone has access to the same resources. This would require a significant shift in our current economic and political structures, which are based on the idea of scarcity. We need to develop new systems that allow for the equitable distribution of resources and the fair allocation of labor. One possibility is the development of a resource-based economy, where resources are allocated based on need rather than the ability to pay. This would require a significant shift away from our current capitalist system, which is based on the idea of profit and growth. Another possibility is the development of new forms of governance that are based on collaboration and cooperation rather than competition. This could involve the development of new political systems, such as direct democracy or consensus-based decision-making. Conclusion. Achieving the Type 2 civilization status would bring about significant changes to our way of life. We would have access to an essentially limitless source of energy, which would allow us to solve many of the problems that currently plague us, such as fossil fuel depletion, pollution, and climate change. We could also see significant advancements in transportation and communication, including the ability to travel to other star systems and communicate with other civilizations across the universe in real time. Finally, achieving a Type 2 civilization status would require a significant shift in our governance structures towards more equitable and collaborative systems that are based on meeting everyone's basic needs rather than the pursuit of profit and growth. Of course, achieving a Type 2 civilization status is not without its challenges. It would require significant advancements in our technology and infrastructure, as well as a fundamental shift in our economic and political systems. It would also require a significant investment of resources and cooperation between nations and civilizations. However, the potential benefits of achieving a Type 2 civilization status are vast. It could provide us with a new understanding of our place in the universe, as well as the ability to solve many of the problems that currently plague us. It could also lead to new opportunities for exploration and discovery, and a more equitable and sustainable way of life for all. Overall, achieving a Type 2 civilization status would bring about significant changes to our way of life, both in terms of our technological capabilities and societal structures. While the challenges are significant, the potential benefits are vast, and it is up to us to work towards achieving this monumental goal. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel, and be connected to this channel for more space information.